Hey everyone, uh, in this class we will talk about how to create a pattern. So we will start with the basic pattern and then we will talk about a seamless pattern and uh, we will uh, use those patterns as a clipping mask. So let's get started. Uh, so first of all, make sure you have a document and with this four, you can make a document of four by four or three by three inches. Okay. So let me give a name. It create. Now you can see I have this uh, page and next thing is I want to fill color in this. So let me unlock this. And uh, so let's use your color. Light pink. And now uh, go to edit, fill. And make sure you have foreground color selected and hit OK. Now this is your background and now we will create a shape. So in uh, toolbar, you can see we have a tool. It's a custom shape tool, okay? So you can find here under the rectangle tool, okay? So at the bottom, we have this. And Next thing, let's change the color. Um, I don't know, dark pink. Yep, there is dark place. Yep. Okay, so now select your shape. Okay, suppose I want to make a flower. So let me take this flower. Okay, and now just drag. And make sure you have press and hold shift key, okay? And I want a really big one, okay? Just release the key, I mean shift key, and just You can see we have this flower. And now how we can make a pattern of this flower. So just go to add it and define pattern. And uh, yeah, this pattern one or just one is fine. Now we have this pattern. So let's try this pattern. Okay. So create a new page and make sure it's a letter size page. Okay. So because we created our pattern on four by four inch, so I want a uh, long page. Okay. So you can try that pattern. So now we have this page. It's a new document, complete new document. And now go to this cookie and uh, select pattern. And here, when you click on this arrow, you can find your pattern. So here I have this. And also you can scale it. Uh, I want a small flower. Okay, so you can adjust the scale. You can adjust the angle. And press OK. So this is your basic pattern. Okay. And uh, suppose you want a seamless pattern. Okay. So how we can make a seamless pattern? So let me open my file. Okay. So this is uh, a Mandela pattern. Okay. And I want to make a uh, seamless pattern, uh, pattern using this. So, first of all, uh, make sure you have this and you give a name Mandela. Mandela. And 
make sure you have a copy of this. And for original, just turn off and now click on the copy and now we will use the offset filter, okay? So when you are on your copy, go to filter, other, offset. And now you can see we have a pop-up window. In pop-up window, make sure you wrap around it's so selected and you have zero at horizontal axis and zero at vertical. And now when we we are here at the corner and make a line, a diagonal line, and release at the center. You can see we have some uh, value here, okay? And our pattern divided, divided it into a four parts, okay? So this is one way uh, we can do it. And suppose uh, like this is the symmetrical pattern, but if you don't have a symmetrical pattern in that case, how you can put these values, okay? So let me show you something, cancel this. And go to image, image size. And image size, uh, you can see, uh, the pixels, um, now you can see we have this uh, value of 450 pixels by 450 pixels. So we need half of this, okay? So it means 225, right? So let's close this. And now go to again, filter, other, offset. And now put the same value here, 225. And here also 225, okay? Oh, sorry, 25. And now you can see we have same result, uh, same result here. Uh, so this is the way uh, we can uh, make a uh, seamless pattern, okay? So for now, hit okay, and turn on your uh, middle pattern, okay? So I turn on this, okay, from here. So now save this pattern, so we can see the result, okay? Uh, go to add it, define pattern, seamless pattern, and press OK. Now it's already saved. Okay, so let's try this. Go to the same letter size base and cookie pattern. And in patterns, I have that mandala pattern. So same, I can change the scale if I want to change it. I can play with angle also, but I don't want to play here. So that's okay. Now you can see this pattern is seamless pattern. We don't have uh, any kind of a seam, okay? The same way you can uh, take a PNG photo uh, uh, from internet and you can try the seamless pattern thing, right? Okay, so another thing which is really important, how we can apply uh, this pattern, okay? On uh, our sketches, okay? So we already discussed about clipping mask, right? Uh, so how we can make a clipping mask? Suppose we have uh, this um, a swatch or pattern, okay? And uh, so it's already applied here. So we can do this, uh, we can just right click and click on uh, create clipping mask. And there you go. This is the one way. Another way, is, it's a really quick way. And I'm doing it control V and now uh, press and hold alt key and come to the middle of these two layers. Um, we want to apply this clipping mask to jeans, right? So uh, now you can see a downward arrow, right? At this time, 
uh, you are pressing and holding Alt key, just click in the middle. And now you can see it's converted into a clipping mask. So this is the one way. The same you can do, uh, this is another way. Uh, we can do same thing for top also. Uh, let's, uh, when you are on top, make a new layer and uh, select your marquee, create a shape so we can apply our pattern on this and go to cookie pattern and from here you can select a pattern. Suppose I want a this one. I'll make it this one. Okay. And again, press and hold Alt key. And when you see this downward arrow, just left click. And now you can see that pattern. So in this case, uh, you can see we already applied this pattern, but uh, it's still uh, that don't look, uh, look natural, okay? So there are some ways we can uh, make uh, uh, these clipping masks uh, natural, okay? So how, let me show you something. Uh, so in this, we will use uh, our pattern and also I will show you how you can use uh, a displace filter, okay, and make it uh, uh, natural, okay. So for this, uh, first thing, uh, we will create a map, okay. So how we can create that. So uh, I want to, like, uh, you have this ruffle layer and go to the top and create a new layer. Okay, and give it uh, this name, uh, give a name, now uh, map, okay. And now drag this layer under sketch, okay. And now take your pen tool and make sure you have default black and white here. So for uh, this, you can press D key, D as a dog. And now we have black and white and it's too big. Let me make it a little bit small. And yeah, I'm using a hard brush tool, a hard brush here. And opacity is 100%, flow is 100%, okay? So now, make it bigger, zoom in. And now make sure you are on the map layer and take your brush tool. And at the lower part, do some painting, okay? Uh, so I'm doing painting here because I wanna this area go inside, okay? I want to shading on this area. Okay? So that's why we are making this map. Here. In this area and okay. So now it uh, looks fine and uh, next thing which we can do uh yeah go go to map okay first go to the selection tool a uh, map and right click and here we have option dupli duplicate layer click on this and change document to a new document, give a name, a ruffle map, and here also, ruffle map. And now hit OK. And now you can see we have a complete new document. And let's save this document. Save. 
And yeah, I already have this, so it's okay. Let me see this one. Okay. Okay, now you can close this map. It's okay. We don't need this now. Or we can access it whenever we need it. So let's log on. And now uh, come to the ruffle and apply your pattern. Okay. Oh yeah, before applying pattern, we need to create a layer. Okay, so layer. This is a pattern layer, and same way, take your copy so we can fill this area with our pattern. Okay, and this. make sure you are on pattern layer. Now click on copy pattern and select your pattern. Okay, even, yeah, I want this one here. I will change it later, okay? So just, okay, and now control D to deselect. Now let's change the scale, okay? And after this, let's make flipping mouse and Convert this layer to smart object. So we can, uh, why we are changing to smart object, so we can change our pattern whenever we want. Okay, so let's convert to smart object. And now let's zoom in and uh, Next thing, uh, next thing, press Control T to select the pattern and right click, and you can see we have option distort. So like this, and let's move these anchor points. And next, right click again, and we have option of war. Select this. And move these points. And there you go. Now, next thing, uh, which is really important here, uh, you can apply a filter, okay? So just go to filter, distort, and display. So we are using displays filter here. Click on this and make the setting default. Press OK. And now you can access that map, which we created. And now you can see my pattern is following that map, especially at these areas, yeah. Let me zoom out so you can see. So this is the way uh, we can make our pattern realistic. So uh, let me change this pattern. So if you want to change pattern, just uh, click on this box. And here we have our pattern and I want to change it. So let's open this pattern now and let's scale it a little bit down. And hit OK and file save. 
Yeah. Now you can see uh, we already changed our pattern. Okay. So this is the way uh, we can use our map and we can use displace filter. And uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, it looked really natural. Okay. So yeah, thank you. And yeah, one more thing. Uh, I have this file, okay. Uh, wrapping exercise two. So I wanna you try the same thing. So yeah, this is your homework. So thank you.